what is up Scorpio? Okay. I am having a hell of a time trying to get your bonus read and your read up there. Okay. Your read cut off for 26 minutes or something like that when I uploaded it. So, um, I tried to leave the original so I could get the comments and the likes and everything and, and get to everybody, but then it wouldn't allow me to update and put up the new, the uh, full read. So I was like, okay, it made me delete the first one. And then it finally allowed me to put up the second one only to cut it off again. <sighs> so then yesterday I did a bonus read and I tried to upload it and there was so many issues uploading it um, that I ended up having to delete it because it wouldn't upload correctly. And then when I did finally get it to upload, it uploaded the wrong video and it was a test video that I was doing and you heard me remount Aries. <sighs> So here I am again, because from some strange reason, of course, that read is missing now from my videos. I love you guys enough to sit here and redo this reading because it's very important that you guys hear what the divine have to say to you. So I sit here with my beautiful heart monitor and all this, and I'm going to do it again for like the hundredth time. And I'm going to make sure that this gets uploaded and I'm going to make sure that it's for Scorpio. Yes, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Chiron, wherever it applies in your chart. I do believe that when you get a read and remember, this is a general read. It's not going to apply to everybody. Again, general read. It's not going to apply to every single person. I'm talented, but I'm not that talented. And apparently I have to try not to swear in my videos. So let's see how that goes for me. Uh, yeah, uh, this is me. Have you met me? Mm. Anyway, I'm going to try not to. I'm going to try and be a good girl here. We'll see how long that lasts. As my Scorpio was in the other room swearing because he's changing out a toilet. So if you hear swearing in the background, that is actually him fighting with a toilet. Uh, so this is for sun, moon, rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, Chiron, and your houses. I feel that your read should be collective of your birth chart. Um, it shouldn't apply to just one area. It shouldn't apply to just your sun or just your moon. If you have Scorpio in several different places, this could apply many places because you're learning lessons in your houses um, and things are crazy right now. You guys had um, Pluto in retrograde full on uh and not only that, but we've got a Scorpio moon coming. And I want, you know, I want to see how you guys have handled that in terms of your lessons and in terms of what you have going on in your life. And so um, from what I gather, I'm so proud of you guys. And I'm so mad that that reading is gone. I don't know where it is. I can't find it. And it uploaded a test Aries read instead. But yet the reading I did is actually gone. It's not on my computer. So um, I'm going to redo it. If it doesn't work this time, then I give up. And I don't know because I've tried and tried and tried with you guys and videos and it just doesn't seem to be working for me. It's only you guys too. The Pisces uploaded just fine. But I feel like you guys have really taken control and ownership of your lessons this month. From what I'm looking at when I'm shuffling, I'm seeing a lot of Scorpios taking every single bad, whether it be behavior or toxicity in their life or whatever it is, and you're literally just wiping your lives out. You're going inside, you're working on traumas. And I know all about traumas. Um, you know, 17 years as a forensic rehab specialist, I have degrees and I have more certificates to deal with trauma than you could possibly imagine. And working on traumas is not easy. And so to see you guys even attempting it especially on your own is truly an amazing sight. Um, I don't even know what accolade to give you for that. I, I'm so happy for you, but then it's like, well, you're dealing with trauma and trauma is very, very difficult. If you guys need help dealing with that trauma, do know that I actually um, did that for work for 17 years on special teams in Phoenix and as well as here. And so, uh, which is Boston, um, I forgot to tell you, it's your girl Kelly coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston because I was so irritated that I had to do this again. Um, we do still have that um, contest going and it will continue to go on until, well, I say otherwise because it's my channel. 
Um, okay, so um, the video with the most likes and subscribe shares, whatever it is you guys do, you know I don't really sell myself. I just put my gift out there and if it calls to you, you come to me, you read with me or you get monthly services and you work with me. Um, do know that that's available to work on your traumas, your lessons and things like that. I do have monthly packages that significantly uh, reduce the cost of just regular readings. If you were to get like say, for one hour readings, you're talking about $240, where in a package deal, you get those four one hour readings weekly to work on what you're going through, um, which can be seen kind of as, um, you know, nah, we won't call it that. But anyway, um, I don't want to talk too long. I want to get into your lessons. I'm so excited um, because you guys have been doing fantastic. But just know that those monthlies are um, don't come out of your bank account. I don't touch your bank account. I don't do contracts. I don't do any of that. It's up to you monthly to continue to pay for that service. I'm not into getting in people's bank accounts. They're like the, it's like the gym. You can't get them out of there. Once you get a gym contract, even when it expires, it's like you have to fight with them. I had to bring a health no to show that my health was bad and I could no longer attend the gym. <laughs> like I've been with you guys seven years. My contract was up a year, like first year in, and I'm still having to argue. So I won't, I don't do that kind of stuff. Um, it's there for you. You're responsible for keeping track of the payment. Um, I will remind you if you haven't paid and we're still working together, because sometimes it's easy to lose track and forget. But for the most part, the people that I have working with me monthly, you guys are just amazing. You just know, and you're like, hey, I owe you money. So I'm going to go do that right now. Um, just know those options are there because you are dealing with some very, very heavy, traumatic things right now. You're going to your inner child and especially with the Scorpio moon um, and Mars going into cancer for the first time. And I don't know. And then we have Taurus going home. I mean, uh, we have Venus going home to Taurus, which I am my um, my Venus is in Taurus. And that's the first time that's happened in like 40 something years, somewhere along those lines. Uh, and it won't happen again for a long time, but it's going to be in cancer until July, I believe. And so we have some majorly um, emotional, traumatic things coming up and resurfacing. So if you need that help, let me know, just reach out. And I work with people. I make it affordable. Um, with that being said, I, I'm done selling myself. I just wanted you to know that there's an option there um, for a guide if you need it. And if you need help figuring out how to get through all the trauma and or even how to get through some of it, um, just let me know. Send me an email. Oh, all your information is in the box below. If you want a personal read, if you want a monthly, whatever it is that you want to do, um, the information is in the box below. And um, please email me first. That way I can send a list of services. Then you can set up with me on Skype or Messenger, what have you. Um, anyway, I'm done wasting time, but that was just so much aggravation I had to put out. <laughs> I was just like, oh my God, really? When I woke up this morning, ugh. Um, so you guys are really taking a hold of these lessons and you are just like queen of swords, king of swords. Just, I feel like you have like machetes and you're just going through the forest. Like you're just getting rid of everything that doesn't serve you. Anyone that doesn't serve you, any past behavior that you're tired of having the same negative consequences, everything and anything. It's like a whole new life for you. Now, this isn't going to apply to all of you. You know, um, some of you may not be going through this life lesson. You may have a very different chart um, where you're going through, say, the Aries lessons, like thinking before you swear and speak. Not fun. Um, so it's not going to apply to everyone. But if it doesn't, you know, please just keep the message moving to those Scorpios who deserve to hear these words right now because they really do. Um, the first thing I want to let you know is that the divine they've received it. They've, they've received your message. They have absolutely 100 received your message. They are saying here, like, we see you, like we see you, we see all that work. We see all that difficult work that you are putting in, in order to better yourselves. They're receiving these messages. They're receiving your hard work. You're putting it out. You're speaking it out into the universe and they're getting it. They love it. And so do I, because there, there's a recognition here. And this 
this is a different recognition I'm talking about other than, you know, a soulmate or anything like that. This is a recognition for me right now of your uh, masculine and your feminine energy, and you're pulling them together and learning how to work with them. That is very, very difficult because sometimes people carry more um, masculine than they do feminine. That'd be me. And sometimes they carry more feminine than they do masculine. So it's very hard to integrate the two. And you guys are really like pulling it together. And the divine are saying like, we see you. We're seeing this. We're seeing what you're doing. We're receiving this. And they're recognizing that you're pulling together both of those energies and you are working in balance. And for a water sign to work in balance is truly, truly amazing. Like you're pulling in Libra energy and you're really, you've got it mastered. You've just got it. Like you've got it right there. And it's amazing to me. And they're saying like, you're done settling in unhappy things, in unhappy relationships, in unhappy anything, anything that's making you feel unhappy, friends that might be backstabbing, um, you know, bad behaviors that you used to have, whether it be drugs, alcohol, um, toxicity, you guys are just wiping it out and it's beautiful. And it's like, you're not settling for unhappiness anymore. You're stepping forward and you're saying, okay, this nostalgia in the reverse here and settling for whatever's in front of me is no longer an option for me. What I want is this. And you guys are plowing away, getting toward closer and closer and closer. And they're saying, we see you. Mm -hmm. We see you. And they're telling you, just have patience with it. It's going to take time. That's what they're saying to me. It's going to take time to fully integrate this new you. Because let's face it, Scorps, you're creating a whole new you. And so that to me is truly amazing. When you can look at your own personality flaws and be faced with, <laughs> you guys have been faced with the worst of the worst lately. You guys are really getting hammered. And so when you can look at your shadow self and say, hey, you know what? I don't really like you. I don't really like that you hold on to things. I don't really like that you're vindictive when you, when you get like this. I'm just going to speak in the moment. I don't want to hang on to this stuff anymore. It makes me unhappy. And I end up waiting years and years to get my revenge because Pluto is your revengeful side. Aries is your fire your go-getter. It still has that violent energy, um, that Mars energy. So you're channeling Aries like all the time and you'll still have that warlike energy. However, it's a matter of standing up for yourself in that moment and putting up boundaries and saying, Hey, when you just said that right now, it hurt my feelings as opposed to the prior Scorpio who would have held it in, waited a month, and then started getting upset about things that didn't make sense to your partner or things that didn't make sense to your families, your children. You were getting mad over little things. And in the end, it all comes out that you were upset about something from a month ago. And so now you're stopping in the moment and thinking, and you're saying, hey, that made me upset. That hurt my feelings. And you're able to actually articulate what you're going through. And that is so beautiful. It's amazing. Like to be able to articulate in the moment is changing the very, very grain of who you are, Scorps. You don't talk about your feelings. Like I said, you hold them in and you wait for that perfect moment to tss and sting. But you're tired of using that stinger because it's not getting you anywhere. It's just you holding on to something and holding on to baggage and hurt that you don't need to be heard about. If you just speak it out in the moment, you give that person the opportunity to look at what they've said or done to you and say, hey, you know what? You're right. I could have found a nicer way to say that. Or I could have not said that at all. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. But when you wait weeks and you're just attacking that person over little things because you're frustrated and you've built up aggravation toward them. They don't understand. And that's when people don't respond well to those little attacks that come up and then boom, the big thing comes out. And it's like, that was a month ago. 
why didn't you just tell me? We could have sat and talked about it. And you guys are now realizing your worth. You're now realizing that you deserve love. You deserve to sit down in that moment and tell the person, hey, no, you hurt my feelings. And you need to face that and find a way to apologize or figure out whatever it is that you need to do to rectify the situation. And you're doing it. You're going against the very grain of what a Scorpio is and you are doing it so well. I'm just like, gosh, why can't I do mine so well? So far, I haven't sworn. Anyway, um, it's like you are having this amazing, um, amazing breakthrough status. It's like, it's a whole paradigm shift, like watching you. I'm like, whoa. Um, I'm just watching you come in and you're like, okay, my whole life is unbalanced right now. I'm not feeling this. No wonder why I haven't been happy. Look at this and this and this and this, and I'm causing myself heartache by holding on to things that I don't need to. If I say it in the moment, I feel a hundred percent better. And it's fair because it gives the other person the opportunity to say, Hey, I wasn't right to you or to think about what they did and talk it out with you. Even if it's not at that moment, and they need time to reflect and really realize, you know, and make that apology not superficial. Just saying I'm sorry does not work, okay? You need to sit down. Talk about why you're sorry. If you just throw out I'm sorry, well, you're sorry for what? Are you sorry you forgot the oranges at the supermarket? Are you sorry that you forgot to stop and put gas in the car? Like, what are you sorry for? General, I'm sorry, do not work and they're not heartfelt and people know that. So now you're giving people the opportunity to sit down with you and really share their emotion, which in turn gives you the opportunity to share your emotion. And that is where it's truly amazing because you guys, when you share emotion are so beautiful. And it's like, I feel also, um, before I dive into more of the cards, um, like you're done with the unequal reciprocity. You're done with people coming into your garden and taking what doesn't belong to them. You're also done walking in and taking what doesn't belong to you, if that's what your habit was. That's done. You're done with that. And I can't tell you how amazing it is to sit here and look at these cards right now, because it's like every single bad habit that you found, you have obliterated. And I'm looking at this and I'm seeing, you're done with this. This talks about being and waiting, for, like being in wait for a harvest, right? So you're in wait for this harvest and then someone comes in and takes it. Or you're lying in wait for someone else's harvest out of revenge and you go in and ruin it. And you're not doing that. You're not feeling it anymore. You're not feeling that. You're not feeling the whole non-communication style. You're not feeling that holding it in for weeks is helping you. You're feeling more like, okay, if I sit down and say it in the moment, I feel so much better. Maybe Kelly wasn't so crazy. I mean, we all know I'm crazy, but you know, when it comes to this stuff, I'm not that crazy. And so the way you're doing things, your actions are changing, your communication style is changing. You're stepping into this empress and emperor role, whichever one fits you so easily now. You're stepping into this role and saying, you know what? I deserve this. I deserve this. And if I don't act accordingly, I'm not going to get this. I'm going to get this. And that is the way people are going to view me. So in the end, you're taking a look and you're going, okay, who do I really want to be? Do I want to be known as the person who comes into someone's garden, takes what I want and leaves, or doesn't communicate and blows up on someone later? No, you guys want to be the empress. You want to step into these shoes and really stand tall and proud of the lessons that you're learning and mastering. That's something else. And you're saying no more of not listening to my instinct. 
because I see where it's getting me. When I don't listen to the red flags who just keep coming and coming, I'm hurting myself, not the other person. So in essence, not listening to your super conscious, your subconscious, your conscious, when you have that pit in your stomach, when you feel that weight on your chest, like an elephant's there, when you feel hollow, when you have those red flags coming and coming, you're saying to yourself, by not listening to this, I'm hurting me. It's not the other person hurting me because they're showing me who they really are. Going back to Maya Angelou, she once said, when a person shows you who they are, believe them. And I firmly stand by that. When a person shows you that they cannot respect you from the very beginning and is throwing up red flags, believe it. Walk away. And now you're seeing it. You're like, wait a minute. It's not that person hurting me. It's me hurting me because I'm not listening to me. And for Scorpios, you guys have an amazing instinct. So to see you coming into the this ancient knowledge right here, which is what that symbol is, you guys are really turning this around and going from now on, I'm no longer going to ignore her. I'm no longer going to tell her, oh, you're wrong. You know, I like this person. So I'm going to jump these red flags. I'm no longer standing for that unhappy settling with, you know, love that's not real. I want the real thing. I'm not standing anymore for not taking new beginnings out of spite or being afraid to express yourself. You're no longer doing that. I'm no longer sitting in my life in where it's completely imbalanced. This is not working for me. Like, guys, do you see how profoundly amazing your transformations are? Profoundly amazing. Whatever the universe gives you for this, you definitely, uh, I was going to swear, you definitely earned it. You know what I was going to say? You earned it. You guys need to realize as Scorpios, when you often misjudge yourselves and you question yourselves, you deserve love just like everyone else. You deserve love. Work through those traumas. If you need help, don't be afraid to reach out. I'm right here. Traumas are not a fun thing to work through, and it requires going back to your inner child and working through a lot of things. You deserve love. Remember that. If there's anything I've said today that's important, that's the most important that I want you to keep right here with you. You deserve love. And I may keep saying it to remind you because you guys don't sometimes feel like you do. But you do. You really do. And so looking at this, you guys are seeing, this is what I want. This is what I'm looking for, the ultimate happiness. I want to be comfortable in life. I want to live a good life. This is the best life you can live in the material world. It's being abundant. It's having enough for everything, having a roof over your head, having a good family life. It involves everything material. And it's the 10. You've made it there. You may not be rich. Shit. Neither am I. Sorry. I am still an Aries with an Aries rising. Come on, guys. Give me a little slack here. Um, this is the best that the material world has to offer. And you've worked for it. Take it. Take it. If I could reach through this screen and give this exact thing to you, I would. I have never seen a harder working group of people on their lessons right now. You're no longer falling for this or being this because we all have the capability to make promises that we don't intend to keep. Every single person does. It's all in your integrity. For me, word is bond. The minute I make a promise, you can best believe, sorry, heart monitor. 
um, you can best believe that I'm going to keep my word. But this guy doesn't keep his word. This guy makes promises and, you know, sneaks in and out and is the playboy of the Zodiac. Or of the tarot, rather. I don't associate signs with the suits. Because of the energies that I feel off of them, I don't feel it's fair. Um, I don't feel that every Scorpio is a playboy or a playgirl. But you're no longer just feeling like serving this up or receiving it. You're no longer dealing with it. You're king of swords and queen of swords and you're just out of here. I'm no longer going to sit up and be upset about things. I'm no longer going to have anxiety and nightmares about things. I'm going to let it out in the moment. No matter how hard it feels, when it comes out, it feels good because you deserve love. No more untruths for you. No more lonely traveler for you. A lot of you guys are very secretive. Um, you're very much a lonely traveler. You don't like to be in relationships. Um, you're secretive. You're spontaneous. Like Aries, you like to just disappear. And we're very good at that too. One day I disappeared and the next thing everyone knew, I was in Phoenix, 2,500 miles away, starting a new life. I just got in my car and that was that. Just said bye, Boston. Drove off in the middle of a uh, huge might I say huge um, blizzard where the snow piles were 12 feet high and signs everywhere for free snow. That's how irritated we were. You're no longer standing for untruths or being this lonely wanderer. A lot of you are feeling like you want to get into that one-on-one -on -one relationship. You're not feeling that having third parties or taking off or being untruthful is serving you. You have a deep seated need right now that you're working on yourself to put this lonely traveler away. This person who leaves broken hearts and untruths you you're putting it behind and saying, this is not working for me. I want someone I can actually come home to, which is again, huge because you deserve love. You're putting away this misery. You're saying, okay, I've lived in this long enough. It is time for me to shine. It is time for me to have my 10 of pentacles. Because not only with the 10 of pentacles, it's your time. It's your wish to have true love. And you're worth it. You deserve it, Scorpio. You're earning it. So for all the past deeds that were bad or lies you've told or whatever it is you've done, listen, you're facing it. You've got Pluto retrograde in your face like, hey, I'm here. I'm one of your ruling planets and you're going to do what I tell you to do. Here's your shadow self. Figure it out. And then you've got Mars going into Cancer, so you're super emotional. And then you've got Venus returning to Taurus, it's home. So you're feeling a little bit grounded. But you've manifested the one thing that you want. You want a true love here. With the Ten of Coins, Ten of Pentacles. That's your wish. That's your wish. You're no longer settling for this and this and this and people who are in and out of your life coming and going constantly, making you unhappy. Or if you're coming and going constantly and leaving yourself unhappy by your behaviors and devastating other people, you're ready for that ultimate commitment. The problem is you need to allow this into your life and understand that you deserve love. I'm going to say it till I beat it in your head. You deserve this. You're no longer standing for this in reverse. You have a wish here. Make it 
what you want it to be, right? Let's get rid of this because that's that nostalgia it was talking about where you're settling. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of the settling and go in for the kill, guys. Go in for what you really, really want and what you have effing earned. Ah, a way to swear. What you have earned. This doesn't come easily. This doesn't just pop up on your doorstep or your plate. This is not easy to manifest, but you are doing it. And you're not just doing it. You're making it look easy. If any other signs have like Scorpio envy right now, I wouldn't blame them. I know that I'm watching it with my very eyes. It's amazing to me because I'm doing nothing. I'm just sitting back watching. And your readings are coming up the same as what he's doing. He's just like, yeah, none of this works for me. So see you later. And if he catches himself in a moment of still doing the old behaviors, he's like, it may take him overnight to think about it, but he'll be like, you know what? I'm sorry that I shouldn't have blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, awesome. <laughs> like we can communicate in the moment. This is amazing. Like all those old habits and things are just, he's just who he is now. He realizes he is deserving of love. And that's what I'm trying to get you to see. You deserve this. This is the hardest thing ever because you've been betrayed by people who you thought you were building with. We've all been through this, but you guys are holding on to it, waiting for that moment to. But now you're realizing it's five years later and I, I still haven't, haven't moved from this. F it. I'm done. Just going to throw it. Like, get rid of it. See ya. Because you have this on the horizon. Why hold on to that when you can have this? Why be saddled with literally guys like crap after crap after crap and more crap? Or ish. Ish. We'll call it ish. More ish. And more ish. When you seriously are looking right at this. And you are... Raising your vibration level to the point where you can manifest this for yourself in the fifth dimension like that. And if you don't know how to do that and you don't know how to raise your vibration or manifest, please talk to me first because manifesting is extremely tricky. And it's all in the wording and the intent. So if you try to manifest something that um, you want and it's not worded absolutely 100% correctly, you're going to get stuck, stuck with something you don't want. Welcome to the divine. So if you don't know that, please work with me on that because I don't want to see you lose this just because of the way you word how you, what you want from the universe. And they take literally word for word what you say. So you have to be extremely careful when you manifest that your wording is correct and you're asking in the correct way. There is a way to manifest. So be careful, okay? Don't just run out there and be like, all right, I want love. Trust me, you don't want to do that. I made that mistake when I was 16, and quite frankly, I never effing made it again. <clears throat> it's showing me you're in your single garden. Look at how beautiful you are. In your beautiful attire, your garden has grown. You are just waiting. You're at the nine. You're here. You're at the finish line. You're there, guys. You're right there. Keep pushing through to the 10. The nine is the last push. It's that last hurrah. It's the 11th hour miracle. Push through to your 10. You effing deserve it. I hate not being able to swim. It's just who I am. You're coming out of this. And you guys always come up as the king of wants to me. You always have. Um, because of your Mars energy, the Pluto influence for some reason isn't enough to overpower this King of Wands, which is usually Leo energy. But um, you guys always come up as this for me. It's like you're coming out of this a brand new person, an amazing person. You're coming out of this like with that push, that drive, like I'm getting rid of all of this because this is what I want instead. And it's like I'm forgiving all of this 
because forgiveness I've realized is for me. It's not for them. People that have hurt you don't sit around and think about how they've hurt you. They move on, they do whatever they want, they walk all over people. But in our minds, it stays with us because we're the ones that are affected most. We're the ones that are hurt most. So it stays with you. Instead of doing that, you guys are like, okay, see you later. And again, here we are. There's my minor Arcana Hermit card. You've taken a step back. You've shed all of those things. You're coming out a new person. Person who's ready to work. A person who's made a decision. And here you are coming up. I'm no longer going to be that Scorpio that hangs on to things. I'm going to be the one that addresses it in the moment. And the forgiveness is for me to move on. The forgiveness is for you. Who gives an ish about the other person? The forgiveness is for your heart. So your heart can move on because you deserve love. Hanging on to this isn't going to get you anywhere. I promise. And hanging on to revenge Revenge equals karma. So when you think about it, my take on that has always been your best success is your revenge. When people see you happy and smiling and having all of these things and your life is going good and they don't have that, that's the best revenge you can ever have because everyone wants to come back to the successful person, don't they? And you will be the one who forever got away to the person who hurt you, right? Yeah, it does work that way. Trust me, I've encountered that a few times. And I'm like, now that I'm living my best life, you are not coming back. When I was down and out and I had things going on, where were you? Oh, that's right. You made sure to kick me. I forgave you. And I still forgive you. I don't like you. And I'm not going to pretend to. So as long as you stay on the other side of the room, then we won't have a problem. But you are not coming back into my life after the amount of hurt you've caused me. Let them see you living that success because you effing earned it. It's right here. Right there. You guys are working toward this. It's like a lot of you want that special one for you. You're done in and out. You're done with the disappearing. It's like a lot of you in this awakening have become um, less secretive. Your walls are coming down. A Scorpio taking its wall down to somebody is like, what? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys, but you got more walls than Fort Knox normally but right now mm -mm. you guys are pulling down those walls and letting the people that you love or your partners know this is the commitment i want from you i am going to be real in it i'm going to talk to you i'm going to spend my time with you i'm going to put the work in i've made up my decision and this old me is going bye-bye this new me is what you're gonna get this new me, this amazing me who has nothing but pure love and pure good intention in the material realm, to be a caretaker, a lover. So Scorpio, um, it didn't come out exactly like last night, um, but it did come out just as amazing. Now I'm going to upload this and hope, let's hope, that this finally happens. I'm so sorry you got an, um, an Aries read that I was testing out doing the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine. And I did put a poll out for you guys in the community um, tab. Um, and it looks like you guys kind of want to keep the readings the way they are because of my ability to um, hone in and see things that I could not possibly see unless I had this gift. And so you'd rather me hone in on those things and not worry about whether it's divine masculine or feminine. Um, so you saw my test read where I tore Aries a new one. Ooh. I usually do. 
because they're not behaving. But this is your bonus read for everything that you missed out on before. And I'm kind of glad in a way that this happened because it enabled me to really call in your elementals and work with them. Let them join me, join with me, join and come inside my body. Let me feel the nostalgia that you're feeling, the happiness that you're feeling by letting go of traumas. So anyway, this is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you from Boston for the Queen Tarot Bee. Again, anything you need is in the box listed below. Keep the contest going. Let's see. I'm going to add up your videos um, just for the fact that uh, you have two videos because of the, this crazy nonsense. So um, if you would take the poll as well, let me know your thoughts right now. Keeping it the way it is, is what's winning. But I just want to know um, you guys' thoughts as well, where you guys are really kicking butt and taking names. So um, let me know your thoughts. And guys, remember one thing. You know what I'm going to say. You deserve love. You deserve that wish card, that happiness. Grab it. Take it and run. Don't let anyone ruin it for you. Show your love to that special person, and I guarantee you, they're going to reciprocate. I love you guys, and I will see you soon.